What's up everybody, I'm Jesse Showalter and in this episode, I wanna show you my total freelance workspace dashboard that I created inside of Notion. Notion is an amazing tool, I use it for everything, so why not use it for freelance business? And so this template that I've created covers everything that you would possibly need as a freelancer, like clients, like contracts, like projects, like schedules, like timelines, like handling your finances, all of that stuff right there in one convenient place inside of Notion. I'm gonna show you how I built it so you can build it yourself if you want to or simply download my version of it. I can't wait to show you. Let's get started. All right, let's dive right in and check out this freelance workflow built in Notion. I'm inside of Notion, I have it opened up and you can see over here on the left hand bar, I actually have a space called freelance business. And inside of it, if I twirl it open, you'll see that I have a bunch of different elements um, and uh, we're gonna explore all those right now. Uh, so I'm actually gonna hide this sidebar because we're not really gonna need it very much. So let's, let's take a look at what we have on our dashboard. This is the dashboard. As soon as we hit this workspace, what we get is a nice header and an icon, a title, that's where we're at. And then we have some sort of table. Hmm, interesting. Down below, we have a client space uh, with active or active and archive clients, and then we have our finances. Um, I am actually gonna twirl this open one more time and look inside here because one of the things you need to see is that we have something called freelance business task list, okay? So there is some form of master task list that's created here that a lot of your day-to-day -day operations is gonna be running off of. Uh, so let me show you what that looks like. Down below, you can see down below everything, we have a little toggle called business assets. And there's where we have the income expense tracker and the freelance business task. Let's talk about this freelance business task first and foremost. This is a master task list. I can go in and look at the default view and it's just a table view. And inside of this master task list, you would be able to create a new task. That new task could have a task name, whether you were, you're doing it, it's done or it's to do, what client it belongs to, right? Any of the clients, if you have a new client, you can create a new one there, what project it belongs to, and then what the schedule is with a start date and if it has an end date, an end date, okay? That's it. This is a master dump of every possible task you could be doing. You can come in here and just do -do 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 and just create a ton of tasks here if you want. But what we've done is we've gone ahead and just done a linked database out here. It's really easy to do a linked database. You just create a new block and type in the word linked and it says create a linked database. When you click that, it's gonna ask you which database. You just do a search for it and boom, you pop it right in, okay? Um, so let's see, this is our link database. Um, that link database is showing us everything and I've created a couple of different views for it. I have it on this table view, but I really like our timeline view. Our timeline view that we've created in this template has the clients over here and then it has our nice timeline um, view with kind of the blocks there and you can actually change the blocks around and for instance I didn't maybe I didn't get this research done here for my Google client and my marketing website project I could just drag it back and kind of put it into a new space or elongate it or shorten it or do whatever so I really really like this timeline view you might also want to click over to the board view and have more of a Kanban experience where I see the things that are to do doing and done lastly there's a calendar view I'm not the biggest fan of this calendar view I actually prefer either the timeline the Kanban board or the table view so this is the one-stop shop when you jump into your dashboard to see what's currently on your plate today we could do a little bit of sorting here and sort these by uh, task, yeah, we want, or excuse me, let's, we could maybe do status and we could do ascending. So like to do, doing and done if you want. Um, and then we could also add in this view, a filter that says, hey, show me every status that is not done. Now I only see the things I need to do and the things that I'm doing, okay? So we can add, sort and filter any of these views the way that we want it, but I just love having this right here. This is gonna come back into play later, I'll show you why. As we scroll down, you can see we also have a list of clients 
and we have our finances. I'm gonna tackle the finances last. Let's head over here and talk about clients. We currently have two active clients and we have no archived clients. The moment a client becomes archived, it's really easy. We just drag it down, drag it, in the, drag it into the toggle, and we don't have to see them anymore. But we can always go check out their stuff later. Maybe later on, Google comes back to me and they want me to work for them some more. I just drag that back up into my active clients, and there they are. It's an active client once again. I also have the ability to create a new client. Every time I create a new client, it's actually a template to create everything that's inside of one of these. So for instance, we can hit new client and Notion's gonna populate all of the things that are inside of this templated page called new client. We're gonna click right into it. Here we are in our new client. Um, what we have is another one of those task lists or, or linked databases. And then we have any and all of the projects that are down below. So we can take a look at um, this system right here. It's really, really similar. The only thing you have to do and change when you start a new project is let's say this is for uh, a new project. Maybe, um, I don't know, maybe it's for like Samsung or something. You got like really, really good clients, right? Um, maybe it's for Samsung. We'd want to come into our filter and say, hey, only show me the Samsung stuff. Okay, cool. Awesome. It also has a project. Each project also has the ability to create, or excuse me, each client has the capability of creating new projects. And this is also a template as well. And so you can see inside of our marketing website, maybe we did before for Samsung, it has all of the things that you would need for each individual project. And again, all we have to do is come in here and say, hey, only show me the, the, the project that is marketing website and that the client is Samsung and now we're all caught up to everything that has to do with this client and this particular project. Inside, not only do you have kind of like a task list of these, but you also have all the other elements that you might need. For instance, you might have some proposal in here, like a quick note taking when you first did client intake with them, and you can write things down that the client is looking for, maybe um, information about the payment schedule. Basically what I use this for is to take notes while I'm having an, a meeting with a client, and I drop all my notes in here and I send that to the client as an initial project overview. That's what I do now here in Notion. If I go back, you can see I also have meeting notes. Maybe you have a quarterly offsite prep, maybe you had different meeting notes. You just drop those in there and create new notes. I also have kind of a template contract that you can use. So you can jump in here and you can send this contract to them. You can even copy and paste this into something like DocuSign, or you can use Adobe Signature, I think. You could send something off like that, but here's a really great template um, and have that there for them as well. We also have the ability to create things like mood boards, um, where we can just like start adding some different things that our client might want for a project. Maybe it, you can start building out a design system inside of here. You have brand assets and deliverables, and then you also have a list of invoices, right? So in each invoice, you just type exactly what it was, whether you wanna make that a spreadsheet or something a little bit more casual, you can do that. So this is the project. All the invoices for this project will live inside of the project dashboard. All of the projects will live inside of the client dashboard and all of the clients will live inside of our freelance dashboard. See how everything kind of drips down? It's really, really nice. It works out really, really well. When we go into our new client, uh, we wanted to call this Samsung. We can give it a new uh, cover and a new emoji if we want to, um, but we can also create a bunch of new tasks specifically for our Samsung project. Um, maybe this has to do with our marketing website project, or maybe it is a logo design uh, for Samsung for their logo project. Now what's really cool is you can have similar projects, but it's the combination of the project and the client that actually makes it a thing, right? So uh, this is part of the logo design. So we're gonna do concepts here. Now, as soon as we do that, we're gonna want a new project, right? So why don't we create a new project for them? And that's gonna be our logo design project. So we'll call this logo design. I like to put the name of the client in front of everything, Samsung logo design. And again, let's do a quick filter, everything that is logo and where the client is Samsung, boom. Now I only have the logo design stuff in here. Okay, uh, I have 
everything that I'm currently doing for them. And so like, let's say maybe this has a start date of here and there, that works pretty good. Uh, when we've added our new different elements in here, like for instance, let's do something like this that has an end date to there. If we come back to our dashboard, you can see our dashboard has grown that timeline view. We can now see everything. And if I want to, I can sort these by client. If I want to, I can sort these by to do or not to do. That's a really easy thing to do. You should open up and head over to properties. What do I want to show in the table? Okay. Uh, do I want to show the table? Yes. Boom. There's the table. What do I, do I want to show? Do I want to show the task itself? Maybe I want to show the client. Maybe I want to show the actual project. Maybe I want, uh, the status and I just want to go by status and then sort by those things. You can see some of them don't have a status. I definitely want to give those statuses, right? And then we can sort them out. So however you want to view your timeline, or preferably your table or your board, however you wanna do it, you do it. But this is a really great way to do that. So everything drips back and forth because it's in a related database. Lastly, you have your finances. And what we've done is just dropped a, a, a couple of basic columns inside a way to manage our finances. Um, we can open up the entire income and expense tracker, but every freelancer should be tracking their finances. And this is the way that I do it. What a great thing to do actually would be to uh, to actually upload, right? We can come in here and we can merge with a CSV and you can download a CSV from your business bank account that has all of your expenditures, income and outcome and all that kind of stuff. And then you can upload it into here and designate what goes where. That's a really, really cool thing to do. It'll catch it up instantly. I've actually done that with my personal expenses. And then we have a few things. Is what transaction type? Maybe I have a new transaction and it was some income that I got from a project and I received it uh, on last Thursday. And uh, what was it? It was my payment from Samsung for the logo. And maybe they gave me $5,000. And what is it? It is, uh, let's see, it is ba -ba 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 -ba, random bank, but freelance work right there like that. So we're literally just giving a transaction type, a date, a description, an amount, and a category. And right now we are currently sorting it by the date descending. If you want to later, you can say, hey, I just can you just show me everything that is um, maybe income? Um, and if you want to, you can create a new section where you tag these. I have notes in here. You could tag it by company if you want to, and then you just sort it out however you want. But this is the way that I track my income and my expenses. And what's really cool is you can also calculate everything. So we can see we have a sum right now of $9,000. This is the $10,000 I've made off of projects minus my expenditures for some digital products like software and Dropbox, for instance. And that leaves me with my sum at the very bottom, which is pretty cool. So let's head back to our freelance dashboard and you can see at a glance everything that we need to be looking at. We have our projects, um, our archive projects and our active projects or clients. Inside of those, we have our projects. All of those have tasks that lead out to our master task list that I like to look at in my timeline view and then we have our expenses set up. Well, that's it. That's my total freelance workspace dashboard that I built inside of Notion. Hopefully you followed along and built your own, modified it to your liking. If you don't wanna build it and you just wanna buy mine, it's $1 and I'll link down in the description so you can find that and purchase it for yourself and duplicate the template and make it your own and add to it, subtract from it, do whatever you want. I just want it to work for you and your workflow and your business. If you have any thoughts or questions about my Notion template, leave those down in the comment section or if you have a way that I could modify it and make it better, let me know. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. I do lots of videos about design and development and workflow and Notion just like this one. So maybe stick around by hitting subscribe and the little bell notification icon so you know when another video like this one comes out. I hope you guys are having an amazing week designing amazing things, making amazing things, and I hope your freelance workflow is dialed in. I'll see you in the next one.